More than one third of the worldwide economy is weather sensitive. From energy to supply chain to agriculture, weather has a tremendous effect. So we wanted to work on a problem that would have the maximum positive impact to people around us. WeatherXM is a global weather network powered by Web3. In the energy space, uh, we correlate weather with energy production or energy consumption. So by knowing with accuracy how the weather is going to be like, we can optimize uh, a factory that is producing energy or uh, we can optimize the strategy of the energy mix um, on, on a global scale or on a national scale. That has a major effect in not wasting resources, because if you produce more electricity than what you need, then that electricity just goes back to earth, basically. Uh, so it's a waste of resources. Same thing in agriculture. Farmers need the weather information on a daily basis to optimize their operations. The more accurate weather data we have, the kinder we can uh, be to earth and the less negative environmental impact we can have in all the industries that do something that that relates with, with the environment, basically. So we believe that there's not enough weather data out there. And we believe that's one of the major reasons why uh, weather forecasts are wrong. So the problem we are trying to solve is increase the knowledge that people have in previous, current, and future weather conditions by deploying additional uh, sensors and by building a network of people that deploy, maintain, and make sure that those stations are working properly so we can collect this weather data. The, the most important part of our solution is the hardware itself. So we have to create a different type of weather station. The weather stations we're using are specifically designed for large scale deployments. They are uh, 10 times more affordable. They are energy and communication autonomous, which means you just put them there and they work. They don't need cables and, and connections. And they provide cryptographic proofs on weather conditions. So that last part is what enables them to participate uh, and enables people who own them and operate them to participate in this uh, new data-driven economy and also uh, enable new types of services that we believe are going to emerge in, in, in the Web3 space. For example, weather insurance on-chain, uh, weather insurance with a smart contract that connects directly to a weather oracle network that is based on these stations. Meteorological companies or uh, agencies, governmental agencies, they look at the weather as a whole, so they try to simulate the weather for the entire globe, but they cannot look at the small details that individuals need uh, in order to do their work uh, better. We use the historical weather conditions as collected from the weather station. We also use third-party forecast, the traditional meteorological forecast, and we build a machine learning model that is trained on the historical conditions to improve the forecast for that location. So essentially we build on top of what the meteorological industry already offers uh, as the best possible weather forecast for that area trying to improve it further using the sensors that we deploy. I was raised in a small village in Crete, Greece, and everybody around me were involved somehow with agriculture. Uh, my dad also was an agronomist, so I was exposed to nature and weather in general, but also the effect that it has on, on people's lives and businesses as a kid. I remember back in those days, uh, people used to watch TV to get the weather forecast, and they were switching channels uh, constantly to see another weather forecast and another weather forecast from a different company that quite often it was in contradiction to the previous one so they could make some sense out of them. So I was familiar with the concept that you can never get, get the weather forecast accurate. So I think Protocol Labs had a major effect in, in, in our company. Um, it has expanded our mindset and it has showing us that we can think bigger uh, and that we can attempt our goals even if they sound crazy. So it has expanded our views in both in terms of vision but also in terms of technology because a lot of the technology that we use is, is quite unique and cutting edge. Our goal in WeatherXM is to uh, build a superstructure. So we want to build a network of 
weather data and weather stations that it's unstoppable. It can grow on its own and it can continue even if we uh, pull the plugs from our servers or if we, even if we decide we want to exit the project. In a way, I feel very good about myself because I know that no matter what, um, this thing is, gonna, is here to stay. It, it will uh, grow uh, and it will help people with their everyday lives uh, or with their work in a positive way.